Hello everyone, I'm Mike Allen from Bird Chatter, and this is Baseball History. It's cold, 40 degrees for the championship game. The Cardinals and the Brewers and to share the excitement, 53,000 partisan St. Louis fans. As NBC World Series presentation brought to you by ColecoVision, the arcade quality home video game system. And by Polaroid, the fun starts when you share Polaroid instant pictures. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bush Stadium, St. Louis. I'm Dick Kenberg. I'll be joining Joe Garagiola and Tony Kubek with the play-by-play. -play. It all began eight months ago in the heat of February in spring training sites, and now it boils down, culminates into one game for baseball's championship. The starting pitchers, Pete Bukovic for Milwaukee, Joaquin Andohar, Sorny, and all for the St. Louis Cardinals. And who might be the Sandy Ambrose or Billy Martin or Country Slaughter? or Bill Masseroski of 1982. With me is Tom Seaver. Your thoughts on this final game? Well, I don't think that Whitey Herzog for the Cardinals could have orchestrated it any better. He has his best starting pitcher going. He's playing his, in, in his home ballpark, and he's got a rested Bruce Suter in the bullpen. On the other side of the coin, the Milwaukee Brewers, they went all the way to the end of the season with the Baltimore Orioles, and they won it. They went to the playoffs and had to go to the last game with the Angels. They won it. Now, of course, the last day, the last game of the season of 1982, We'll just have to wait and see, Dick. This 82 World Series has had its unusual moments. It certainly hasn't followed any typical form. It's had its highs and lows. And with his review of the Brewers and Cardinals through the first six games, here's Bob Costas. From Bird Chatter, I'm Mike Allen. Subscribe to our channel for all our compilation videos.